the move that we need. And usually they go to the analogs cleaner afterwards. But just a quick clean. What we use is um, 50 parts of the Flexo wash. Does this you gonna make it half and half? Just make half and half. So one to one, one part this, one part water. Yes. And what are, what are we doing? We're just getting the, the heavy contaminants out. Yes. The, the contaminants out of the deep cells. You can use two things. You can use a sponge or you can use a stainless brush. Just paint it on. Yeah, it's like you're painting it on. It's worth it. Now, does it matter if you do circular motion or, or back and forth, or is it just better? No, you're just trying to get the, you know, kind of like you're waxing your car. You're just trying to get the complete surface area. Okay. And usually when you do it in small circles, you can uh, avoid missing any places. So you just wipe it all off. A little water on there. Water, wipe it away with water. You can use uh, a water alcohol blend, and what that'll do is just help it dry a little quicker. Okay, for uh, heavier contaminants, uh, usually TiO2 whites, uh, white inks. What we try to do is. Uh, just a deep scrub uh, cream. It's just a little bit heavier liquid. You shake it well. So we use that as a. If, if, if ever, all else fails, you get your extra deep cleaner, or when you need that extra cleaning. Just when you need that extra clean on analogs. consistency on uh, your process colors and screens will be really good.
I don't feel any greasiness. You know, I feel it just evaporating.